What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So while we're looking at AMC on this channel and consistently talking about the short interest that's there, I figured, why don't we look at the most heavily shorted positions that's bound to short squeeze uh, within the stock market? And I think this one that we're going to look at today is uh, probably the worst. It's it's pretty bad here. We've seen um, short interest that's a, a lot higher, um, but we've seen a complete collapse or complete fall uh, from different positions for uh, simpler reasons, right? Just maybe people don't really believe in it while also partnering up with shorts. But I think this is more or less on the side of Jeez, this is this is a lot of shorts. So guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, at Perry8K, you can follow me over there. So we talk about AMC and GME and all of the different you know shorts that we've seen there and the uh, corruption that's going on there. But corruption is everywhere in the stock market. You could see it in lower market cap positions, higher market cap positions, just, just uh, a lot, right? Uh, whatever they believe is going to fail, they are going to try to attack it until it does. Um, they have the luxury of time because they have the money, right? They have the backing. And as they consistently make money, you know, they have that backing and people believe in what they have there, right? Um, there's a lot of people that also believe in the corruption that that's taken place. But even though some of those people believe in the corruption, they still see the money that's going into their bank account. They still see the money that's going into the business's bank account or the firm's bank accounts and the money that's consistently used throughout the day or throughout the week or throughout the month. And if you see that money, that's real, right, to them and to everybody else that's watching. So, um, or everybody else that's listening, everything else, everybody else that sees it, just all of that. So the position that I wanted to talk about today um, is Beyond Meat. Um, I don't know if you've heard of it, but Beyond Meat is basically, uh, you know, it's, um, you know, meat that's made from like vegetarian stuff, like vegetables and stuff like that, right? It's not meat. It's not real meat, um, but it has the taste of meat. So it's plant-based, um, you know, meat that um, you, I've tasted it. It's actually not bad. I've had I wouldn't say I would eat it all the time just because it, it's it doesn't really 100% taste like that, but you know that it tastes good. Um, it's just different, right? So if it was offered to me, I would eat it. I would literally eat anything, honestly. Um, I wouldn't say anything, but I would eat anything that is food. Um, you know, I don't, I've never been picky. I've never been that type of person. So if you offer it, you know, and I'm hungry, I will eat it. If I'm not hungry, then I most likely won't eat anything. I won't just sit here and be like, oh, I'll turn down this and eat that. I just won't eat anything. Anyways, that's enough on me. Um, beyond meat, if we look at the overall position and we also look at what it is, um, hopefully you guys can see this on the screen. I know it's kind of small here and I can barely even see it. Uh, beyond meat um, is a plant-based company which offers a, a portfolio of plant-based meats. The company's flagship product is the Beyond uh, Burger. It's designed to look, cook, and taste like a traditional beef burger. It also sells uh, a range of other plant-based meat products, including Beyond Sausage, Beyond Beef, Beyond Meatballs, Beyond Breakfast Sausage Patties, uh, Beyond, uh, I just lost my place, uh, Beyond Breakfast Sausage Links, Beyond Beef Crumbles, and, and so on and so forth, right? They offer a lot of different products there, and I mean, it it works, right? Um, you see, I'm not saying that it's like, it, it's something that needs to work, but you taste it. Like it tastes just like, you know, a burger, not exactly like it, but it's very, very close to it. And you wouldn't even, if someone told you, Hey, this is just a burger. It's just a different way that they cooked it. Then you would believe that that's just a burger. It, it's, it's honestly not bad. And I know a lot of people that are like, no, I'm not going to try it. Um, but you got to try everything, honestly. Um, so if we look at the full breakdown minute by minute and how this has performed today, it's up 8%. We're seeing it up. It looks great. looks uh, phenomenal. We're seeing it over the average amount of volume, which looks really, really good. If we go to the chart, we're going to see that this was at a way higher price and is way below the 200 EMA. This is where it starts to, you know, not get 100% clear, 
right? Or maybe get 100% clear to some people. Um, but in 2021, where we saw a lot of things start to collapse, this was at 100, let's say $39-ish, um, somewhere around there, $150. It did decrease and continue to decrease. And now you're seeing this down to about $17. So basically, if we wanted to make it easy math, um, let's say it was at $100 and it's down to um, 100 or it's down to $20. So let's just say it was cut by five, even though it was cut by way more than that at $150 all the way down there. Um, so we're definitely seeing a larger decrease here and it really has uh, fallen from those levels, especially as it was introduced, you know, seeing that even at 41 ish dollars and increasing all the way up to 200 plus. So it has the ability to be strong up there and uh, be very, very valuable and probably will be. But uh, it collapsed really, really hard. And as that collapse happened, you also had a lot of shorts that were going through. So if we go over to the Ortex data here, you're going to see Beyond Meat that has 35%, 35% um you know of free float right short interest of free float you're seeing that up about 1.6 percent in the last three months if we look at the last 12 months um we see that actually down from where it was at 37 percent and then maybe in the last 18 months um you know we're seeing that at 37 percent as well so it was up quite a bit and you saw that at a high of 37 percent i mean 35% is still ridiculous. We're talking about, you know, AMC that's at 30%. You know, Beyond Meat is at 30%. You see um, the, the utilization over here um, at 93 as well, cost to borrow. Like you're seeing everything that it just doesn't really line up as like normal to, to me. Um, it seems like something that, um, you know, firms and big money want to short. Um, and that's why you see it down so much. And you look at like nine potential positions to short squeeze beyond meat is on there, you know, showing at 43% short interest as of June 27th. Um, and then the cost to borrow over here at 180%. So obviously they're showing that this is a big short squeeze potential move. And it's because you're seeing um, maybe people that don't believe in the business overall or just want to um, short it based on financials as well um, and performance. And I feel like their performance is, is great. I feel like what they have, the products they have is, is phenomenal compared to a lot of others that are out there. I mean, it's, it's pretty much the best option that you can get that's not actually meat. But then again, people make the argument, like, why would you want it to taste like beef and not be beef? Uh, you would have to have been, you know, uh, you would have to have been eating burgers before and then wanted to switch to not, you know, eating burgers to still want the taste there. And maybe that's the whole uh, mindset behind it rather than people that are vegetarians or, or, or vegans or don't want to eat meat and or never wanted to eat meat, never tasted meat in their life. And they don't want it to taste like meat because they it's just you're still and mentally thinking that you're eating a cow or eating a chicken or whatever. So I don't know. But when it comes to the investment side of things, this looks very, very interesting. I don't know about you, but it looks very, very interesting. So we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, but before we uh, you know, get out of here, make sure you guys hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, make sure you check out some of the links down below. If you want to check out the place where I'm trading, it's Weeble. Link should be at the top of the description. But uh, I'm going to get out of here. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.